Hey everybody, today's video is going to be a bit of a rundown of the rebuild process for the cab over portion. Uh, there are a lot of ups and downs and plans and changes and things that I just didn't foresee that took place and even afterward I'm finding things that probably could have gone better uh, but I'll cover all that in a little bit or a later video. So sit down, chill, check out what we got going on. Working on getting this put back together. Got the, I guess, decking in, whatever you want to call this, for the platform. Starting to frame back in the sides and the front, and it's starting to feel less like a giant, massive, gaping hole. So I'll take you through and kind of show you what's happening, why I'm doing what I did, and the plan moving forward. So since I'm basically doing the same thing on both sides, I'll use this side as the example. Tore the paneling off as far as I needed to to find good wood. So found some up here and ended up discovering that basically the framing for this whole front portion ends right up here uh, against where the lift system for the pop-up goes. Moving forward to lengthen this back out to the front, I'm gonna use a two by four to make sort of a lap joint where it'll layer in on top over here. I'll drill in through there and probably do a bracket on the side and run that forward that way to extend back to the front. Then I'll do another layer of half inch plywood over that whole thing, add a little bit more stiffness and security with that. And then to really give it some more structural integrity to keep the stress of our weight off of this general area, I'm gonna take another two by four and run it from back here somewhere so I'm tying into the framing aft of the lift system and forward and kind of tie it together in a much stronger way. In addition to tying in extra 2x4s, the length of the run up there, I'm going to use those as kind of a foundation point to build a storage compartment under where we're sleeping on top of this platform. I've seen it in other campers. I'm not actually sure if this came stock with it or not, but I'm going to add it in anyway for clothes, extra gear, whatever else. So if you can picture it, it'll probably just end up being the depth of the 2x4, which is fine for clothes and whatever other small low profile gear. And I don't want to raise this too high to be uncomfortable to step onto from down here. Eventually this will have a top on it. It'll have siding running across over there to blend it together. Probably a handle to lift up, maybe some sort of lift system with it. Um, but I'm pretty excited and I think it's gonna stiffen it up a lot and hopefully last longer than the last one did. Tying into the sides might be difficult or slightly more difficult to match the contours of this angle here. But uh, I'm pretty confident that uh, well, anything I do is probably going to be better than what they slapped together from the factory. So I'm feeling pretty confident. Also I'm going to add some more backing in for the latch to the roof. Uh, probably something a little more solid than what was there. I don't really know what I'm going to use yet. But it's going to start coming back together today. So right now I've got some half inch plywood tied in over my internal framing I did on both sides but it's it's freaking strong like i'm feeling pretty good about it up front I'm getting ready to put this piece back in which basically runs with the contour right there and forms the nose of the cab over portion it's it's coming together and i'm feeling pretty confident so uh i'm gonna work on just getting the front portion in and we'll see how it goes it would be really rad if I could start getting the metal siding back on tonight but we'll see check it out not too shabby so I already had this 2x4 in run across drilled into the platform I linked it in the corners with these little 90 degree brackets drilled those into the walls and the new internal framing drilled the platform up through the bottom to those two by fours and this front piece over here was a little more challenging but really not too bad either 
I will go to the other side and show you what I did. So when it came time to put this in, there was a gap between the bottom piece and the platform. So what I did is I took a 2x4, ripped it at 45s on one side down the center to match these angles here, connected it all with these flat brackets, ran it across, drilled up from underneath, all the way down, sucked right up. Now the last thing I gotta do is fill in these gaps here uh, before I get the trim on because that's gonna drill in to the front and wrap around, but shit's coming together. Fucking stoked. All right, so we're getting pretty close with this. I got the main supports for this little elevated platform section in. Just got two by four running center down the middle. I got another two by four up back there. Uh, actually in a couple of sections because, well, wood is expensive right now and that's what I had laying around. So I pretty much just centered those three and I'm uh, making it work. So I am using these corner brackets, hello Gus, to kind of put all this together. I'm going to do some more down in there and then use some flat ones to tie these three sections together. Then do the tabletop, shut up, or I guess top of the platform. Throw some hinges on it so it can lift up. There's the mattress just chilling up there. Um, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, and here we have it in usable condition. Put the pad on, got the flat top on up here underneath sleeping bag over here tossed in the corner there's gonna be definitely some revision with all this and I'll take you through what's gonna happen and where it's at all right so I'm just gonna show you this side because both sides are pretty much identical we got it split in two I tried fitting the whole thing in in one piece that was a huge mistake uh, there was no way it was gonna fit so I had to cut this whole thing down in two, put it in halves, which actually I kind of like better anyway, just for individual compartment action here. So this thing lifts up. I've just got a stopper in the back to kind of keep it in place. And there it goes, it just kind of falls in, stays where it needs to. Eventually I'll put some hinges back there, but it's not really important right now. Like I said earlier, some lift. So that is that. This side, however, I did not foresee this not clearing the thermostat for the heater. So I ended up having to cut out this slot just to clear that. This whole thing is now usable, thank God. So, thoughts on this whole project so far. Definitely more work than I thought it was going to be, but I should have known that. It's never as good as it seems uh, with old campers and I should have learned that from the first one but obviously I didn't so lesson reiterated here a lot of work goes into fixing up an old camper especially one that you get for a deal uh, it's a deal for a reason that is another lesson that I have learned yet again while I do enjoy the work it takes up a lot of time but it'll all be worth it in the long run Things I still need to do and am currently working on. I just fixed uh, the third of three jacks for this thing this morning, which took a couple hours. And in the process of getting it back on and tested and jacked back up, when the camper leaned forward, there's a stream of water that came out the front. So obviously I haven't fully sealed it and the rotten wood problem that we found with this thing is still a possibility with the new wood and replacement. So I went ahead and sealed up everything in the front again with more sealant. Hopefully that does the trick, but I don't really know how I'm going to know because the water just pulls up underneath the plywood on top of the siding on the front. So I guess time will tell. As for anchor points, still working on those. I've got it mostly worked out and I'll probably film a little bit of that and put it in a later video to show you guys what I did for my DIY anchor points because I'm not paying 
$800 for torque lift. We're going cheap route with Happy Jacks or whatever else is out there. So hope you guys liked the video. Uh, I know it was a little dry, but the building is not really that exciting. So hopefully future videos when we actually take this out will be a little bit more exciting. But I appreciate you tuning in and watching and checking out what we've got going on. For the few of you that may be watching, thank you. I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe if you liked what you see or want to see future projects and DIYs and camping and all that fun stuff. So I will catch you later.